let's go ahead and do a react Randy to the Yan Fei YouTube video. Go over their abilities and all that other good stuff. The four star cry or four star pyro catalyst user that'll be on the Zhang Li banner, the very first banner for 1.5. Turn that up. My name is Yan Fei, top legal expert in Lila. Oh, Yan Fei. Avoidance of doubt. No one else comes close. I'm fully versed in every area of the law. I'll remind you again. The law can be both a help and a hindrance. The law. Only by adhering to the law can the people solve life's myriad of problems. Yeah. Of course, cryo abyss mages. <laughs> All right, Miho, yeah, I'm feeling the music. Anyway, my point is, you can always rely on me. Yeah, what weapon? What weapon was she using in that? That's the Black Cliff, right? The Black Cliff Catalyst. Uh, wait, is she sticking her tongue out? What the fuck? Yeah, I think I think I'll stick with my Frost Bear Catalyst. She's sassy. For your anyway, my point is, you can always rely on me. All right, who's rolling on her? Anyone? Okay, so there is sustained damage dealer. She can strengthen her charged attacks with her Scarlet Seals to deal pyro damage to enemies, yada yada, as well as dealing damage. Her elemental skill and burst helps her stack Scarlet Seals more quickly. The story about her, all that good stuff. Favorite food, tofu. Favorite hobbies, reading. And then we have the abilities here. Next slideshow, please. We have the normal attack, of course, up to three times hitting an enemy. Grants hitting an enemy with her normal attack grants her a single Scarlet Seal, as you can tell. I don't know if Ningguang was like that as well. The initial maximum number of Scarlet Seals that she can possess at any one time is three. Gaining a new Scarlet Seal resets the duration of existing ones. Yeah, that was the same. Each seal decreases. Her stamina consumption it will disappear when she leaves the field. Interesting. <clears throat> I didn't even know about that stamina consumption. Is Ningguang like that too? Normal attack, seal of approval. The charge attack here consumes stamina and after a short casting time, uh, consumes all scarlet seals to deal AoE pyro damage in an enemy, uh, AoE in front of her. Based on the number of scarlet, shield, uh, scarlet seals that it consumes will be uh, based on the damage for that. It leaves a little mark after as well. Ningguang doesn't need stamina for charged at all. Interesting. She really was a future five star, right? <laughs> she really was designed as a five star and then bumped down to a four star. What happened? Okay, so we have her E ability. We have her E ability summons blistering flames that deal AoE pyro damage. If this attack hits an enemy, Yanfei is granted the maximum number of Scarlet Seals. Just immediately right there, which is perfect for the alt. Done deal. Triggers a spray of intense flames that rush at nearby opponents, dealing AoE pyro damage, granting Yanfei the maximum number of Scarlet Seals, and applying brilliance to her. And that does uh, periodically grants Yanfei a Scarlet Seal, increasing the damage of her charged attacks. The brilliance effect stops when Yanfei leaves the field or dies. So increases the damage of her charged attacks. So this looks like a charged attack user then, huh? Which technically means, correct me if I'm wrong, which technically means you want to run Wanderer's Troop set on her four piece and then a Pyro Damage Goblet, and that's probably her best in slot. Since it, it seems like her ultimate is just built based around her charge attacks. Maybe? Am I wrong? Uh, am, I, am I wrong? Hey, let me put the chat. Any, any truers in the chat? No? Uh, okay, Crimson Witch, better? Alright, well, I tried. <laughs> I tried. Maybe there's going to be some testing out there uh, for anyone who rolls on Yanfei, whether Wanderers or Wanderers versus Crimson, you know? Crimson is definitely going to be easier to obtain. Wanderers, a little bit harder. 
I can't really theory craft because I am not going to be rolling for her on my account. But, you know, I'll leave it up to other people to do that. All right, and that was it. That was Yenfei, the new four-star Pyro Catalyst user coming to Genshin Impact during 1.5 on the first banner, Zhongli. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to be rolling on her, so I'm not going to be able to theory craft and find out which weapon is best on her uh, for like free-to-play players and different artifact builds and stuff like that. Off the top of my head, I'm thinking Crimson Witch and uh, the Wanderer's Troop and maybe even that Frostbearer Catalyst for like an F2P weapon or the Witsith if any of you guys do have the Witsith. But let me know down below if you guys are going to be rolling on Yenfei as well. Uh, and the main reason I'm not going to be rolling on her is because I'm already at 65 wishes in. So my next 10, my next few wishes are going to guarantee me a five-star character. And I'm trying to stay away from Zhongli. I'm going to try and save that five-star pity for Eula. And just an FYI, a disclaimer, if you guys did not check out my Rosaria video when I was trying to go for a five-star or a four-star character, thinking that they're a four-star and they were easy to obtain, Reminder, they're a four star and they're not guaranteed like a five star. So you could theoretically be using like 50,000 Primo gems or 500 wishes and still not get Yanfei. Uh, I do wish you guys the best of luck for those of you who are going to be rolling on her. Just keep that in mind. Four stars, in my opinion, are a lot harder to obtain than five stars. And I've learned that the hard way with Rosaria, unfortunately. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if you guys are going to be rolling for Yenfei or Yen <laughs> Yenfei down in the comments below. Feel free to give the video a like if you guys enjoyed it. It does help with the YouTube algorithm and helps show this video to other people. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in the next one.